Staying with basketball, Mike, the hot topic right now is Nick Smith Jr. He's a five-star commit for Arkansas who's currently ineligible to play his senior season. Now, it's a very complicated situation, but here's the breakdown, the Cliff Notes version. Smith transferred from Sylvan Hills to North Little Rock, where a guy who had been training Smith since sixth grade just happened to be a volunteer coach last season. Now, the Arkansas Activities Association has ruled that Nick Smith Jr. violated rules and is believed to have been recruited to North Little Rock. Mike. Story in the state involving the top basketball recruit in the state has been resolved. Nick Smith Jr. is playing his senior year at North Little Rock. That decision coming down this afternoon in a joint statement from both North Little Rock School District and Pulaski County yeah. Special School um, District. You know, North Little Rock, you know, is one of the powerhouse schools, and you know, um, everybody knows about, you know, the athletic program, the football and the basketball parts. Uh, everybody knows about the championships. You know, even I think the baseball program got a good program at North Little Rock. So just uh, being a part of, you know, this community and uh, the school, you know, it's a, um, it's an honor, especially uh, you know, their uh, repetition of everything that that happened in the past and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a cool experience being a part of, you know, North Little Rock.
He hard, cuz. He not hard. Hey, say, hey, say what's up to the episode, bro. It's Jake. Good, ugly. Yo, I'm in it. Uh, kept cleaning, cuz. So you can't take the mat. You can do that, man. You can't take the mat off in this room? Nah. Damn. <laughs> hey, you have a fun. For sure, bro. I'm going to hit you later, gang. Okay. When we was young, we was young, you know, um, didn't nobody really... We, we, we wasn't that good either, though, but, you know, we was um, always competed. I think he played for, like, pro skills. It was like it was like him, Bryce Griggs, Rylan, uh, Trey White. It was, Noah Shelton? Yeah, Noah. It was all of them on, on, like, one team, you know. And he was like the fifth option, but he can he could he can shoot though. But you know, um, then nobody really just knew who he was. You know, he didn't really have any like middle school hype. But when, as soon as he got to like high school, I think it was like ninth grade. Ninth grade, it was like at a, um, I think it was at a Pangos camp in Dallas. He just went crazy. When was that? Honestly, I didn't really just start getting. I mean, people knew who I was. Cause on a respect level and everybody knew like I can hoop but I didn't really just start getting you know um I just say clout until after beat jam I say really Peach jam? yeah cuz I mean I had like I had like shit like 8,000 followers or something like that and Peach jam yeah Damn. Damn. then like after not after but like during and then it started kind of picking up and stuff yeah. like that um well, I'm from I'm from Jacksonville, from uh, Collins Road. I kind of I grew up around that area. Um, basically, just growing up, always being you know one of the one of the smallest smallest guys growing up in a neighborhood. You know, playing playing against bigger guys. You know, kind of held me to this day. Um, you know, it was it was also fun, especially just knowing like you know what I'm saying like you just basically we were just out there just having fun every day. You know, just going outside, just chilling. You know, uh, I still have relationships with those guys today. And, you know, I mean, it was it was it was fun growing up uh, around there, especially playing at playing the Jacksonville Boys and Girls Club every day when I was growing up. So, you know, it's it's been a, it was a fun experience for sure. Must uh, and his staff really pinpoint the uh, the stuff I was looking for in terms of you know everything that went on to my recruitment process. Um, me and my dad really looked at you know the pros and pros and cons to every school I went to. You know, um, obviously Arkansas had more pro, had more pros than and had less cons than uh, than uh, any other school. So you know, just picking that school and knowing that Coach Must. Uh, what he has in store for me and you know um, especially just staying at home 
you know, my reputation is every my reputation is everything to me. And I just want to, you know, go out there and just uh, play in front of the home crowd. And Arkansas got the best fans in the country. So, you know, just um, just having some having some that know that's going to have your back. You know, I mean, it's, it's going to be it's going to be fun for sure. Uh, talk about your mentality on the court. Um, my mentality is a, a dog mentality. Um, it's either you're gonna be, it's either gonna kill or you're gonna be eight. You know, that's that's just what it is. You know, um, I put the work in uh, each and every day to my craft. And, you know, I'm just trying to get better each and every day, and just trying to, uh, you know, just trying to reach my goal in life and stuff like that. So, um, just going out and being confident in myself. Knowing that you know if I'm missing shots, I can you know um, I'm still going I'm still going to shoot the same shots, and I'm still going you know keep working on my craft and stuff like that. So you know just going out there with a dog mentality, and uh, knowing that you can compete, you, I can compete at a high level. You know it's uh, one of, one of the good traits to have. I say rankings really don't really really mean anything. You know on, on the simple fact that there's so many guys out here that can that's elite and there's so many guys out here that has potential to be great and, you know all I'll say is you know just just keep working because at one point you know it was people that's on the list right now that wasn't ranked but they just kept working uh I can just uh speak from experience for me I was a I, I believe ninth grade I wasn't I really I wasn't ranked you know I just kept working knowing that uh the potential I had you know um, I worked on my body I also worked on the mental aspect of the game you know, just I just kept just working on my craft. You know, just uh, you know I believed in God. You know, um, I knew what He had in store for me, and I just kept working. I didn't, I, I didn't stop. So. One thing I want to do, I want to give back to my community. Um, giving back to my community is big for me, especially knowing the people that helped me come up, you know, um, from where I, where I was and where I am now. You know, it's, it's been a big part of who I am today. And, you know, um, I try to humble myself and just look look back on what, you know, those people had done for me and the community had done for me, you know. Um, I want to be, you know, one of those dudes to where, you know, you know, as, like after basketball, I want to be the, one of those dudes where I want to be a mentor to people. I don't want to, you know, deal with, you know, other stuff. I just want people to look up to me. And I also have little siblings to, you know, I feel like I have to um, step in at one point and, you know, be, you know, I, I'm a role model to them now, but you've got to, the basketball going to stop bouncing. So I want to also be a businessman. I'm a, I'm a family guy, you know, um, basically, man, just, just try to enjoy, enjoy every, every aspect of, you know, um, of not really just worrying about anything, you know, just just going out there, just living life, and you know, just 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 li I just try to live in the moment, not try to live in the past, and you know, but when that time come, I don't really know because you know I'm still hooping right now, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, first, as everybody knows me, I talk about my dad a lot, but um, my mom always took a sacrifice of me, you know. Um, taking me to practice, picking me up from practice, um, you know, taking me to the weight room, 
taking me to workouts, you know, uh, that that plays that plays a big part of you know um, plays a big part of me being successful and being who I am. Cause you know um, sometimes my dad is you know sometimes is not around to uh, you know do everything for me. But you know my mom is what has been one of my one of my um, one of my best friends ever since I was young. You know me and her you know um, compliment each other on a lot of stuff and you know. Um, one day I just can't wait to, you know, just pay it back all to her, you know, um, just, you know, basically just so she ain't got to work no more because, you know, she's been uh, working ever since I was young just to provide for me and my family. My dad been working ever since I was young to provide for me and my siblings. And, you know, just one day, you know, my goal in life, you know, just try to, you know, um, let them stop working, you know, and, you know, just try to try to, you know, make a big difference of uh, what they got going on now. So.